Alrighty then. It's Tomas back again with a Sugar Bridges demo video featuring the Sugar Bridges crossover blend pedal, which I make. And the Rocktron Silver Dragon multi distortion pedal, which I do not make. And which is very dusty. Um, assisting me tonight is my lovely assistant, the ATK 5 string bass with lace pickups and. Kind of slightly dead round wound strings. Yeah. 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 This bass really loves a uh, nice tube amp. Mid-rangey attack. So, all right. So, with that in mind, let's check this out. Now, Silver Dragon is actually one of my favorite pedals. One of the coolest things, if you like a uh, both tube drive and sort of like that, uh, um, like sort of the, the, the tube screamer overdrive, because it because the tube stage is driven with sort of that. Uh, low frequency roll off and then get some of it back with this weird EQ stage that's sort of a treble boost mid bass boost circuit so with knobs almost all the way down it's almost flat you see what I mean it's not not quite not quite flat and also it's all never quite clean so it's if you were hoping to play clean and then, then push it into overdrive, well, that's not going to happen because it, it doesn't do clean. It does have sort of the... And the, the bass boost, the roar knob, doesn't really boost the bass. It boosts kind of low mids, which is really not useful. And below those frequencies, there is no bottom end. So it just makes the most incredible sound pretty overdrive stuff, but then there's no bottom end, so it's kind of useless on bass. But we fixed that. Um, <laughs> I spent a lot of time with this in, in a crossover blend setup. And it really doesn't do anything to the low frequency, so there's no point turning it uh, too far down. Um, another thing that's kind of sad about it is it has this um, one stage that does this, and another stage that does that, which sounds an awful lot like a rust ride circuit, and the tragedy is that the Slayer side is in phase inverting side, and the Awaken side is not, so if you're planning to blend with it, you pretty much have to pick a sound and stick with it, <laughs> or reach down and flip switches. I mean, if you want enough gain that you really have no idea what to do with it for a very, very long time, this is the pedal for you. It is a lot of fun, actually, and it sounds good on bass. Um, if, you know, tons of drive is what you want. However, I find that the, uh, the overdrive side is very useful on bass. This, uh, you start saying to yourself, well, what, is it doing anything? Well, yeah. It, it, uh, it has a lot of mid-rangey uh, harmonics that were not there before, uh, as long as you uh, don't turn it too to it. And it's subtle, which is not something you would expect from a pedal approximately the size of the rest of the stuff on your pedal board. It, it can get unsubtle, obviously. Doing that, uh, the usual starved plate tube sound. This one has also been modded with a uh, groove tubes 
12AT7, I think. And I'll be honest with you, aside from the groove tubes part, I tried several different tubes, and 12AX7, 12AU7, they all sound the same. It doesn't really matter. It's pushing them so far into overdrive that they sound pretty much the same. And I think it's best it is best for its subtle sound. And, and of course this will be the, the pedal I record my hit song with. Which will involve a pick, so. is that the shriek circuit, well, it pushes the treble, but it just makes it sound more farty, so if you leave it flat, it sounds more like a, an actual tube, even though it, it's still a tube. And see what I mean. It's, I said, amazingly subtle considering Now, taking a look at the Slayer side, I have to go down into phase inverted mode for this. I've been wrong all this time. This is a this asymmetry of tree control here, the breath control, and uh, or something like that. I think it has something to do with the bias offset. And as you can tell, it makes. no difference whatsoever in the sound. <laughs> I guess this thing has a lot of gain. Yay! We'll see you next week, kids. <laughs>